which among the following is a sensitive test favored to assess exocrine pancreatic function again this question is very similar to a question which was asked some years back in one of the central institute super specialty exam so there were four options which were given the option a was nbt paba test option b was serum active trypsin levels option c was fecal elastase one levels and option d 24 hours stool for fat content now we know that 24 hours stool for fat content is not a sensitive test for anything right it still sometimes it is used for uh, steatorrhea assessment or sometimes in cystic fibrosis or malabsorption symptoms but by itself it is not a sensitive or specific test nbt paba test again it is not very sensitive or specific test and it is not a favored test for pancreatic function now we are left with option b and c when this question came in the exam many students remembered what was mentioned in nelson and they said sir in nelson both elastase one is also mentioned and serum trypsin levels are also mentioned it is not trypsin levels which are mentioned nelson talks about serum trypsinogen levels serum trypsinogen is not the same as serum active trypsin active trypsin will destroy it is a active protease so if the question was saying serum trypsinogen levels then it would have been a diagnostic dilemma what is the correct answer here right here there is no fallacy it is not serum active trypsin levels the answer to this question is fecal elastase 1 levels fecal elastase 1 levels is a very sensitive test which is useful for exocrine pancreatic function in all suspected pancreatic disorders there is also a flow chart which is given in nelson which talks about this test the flow chart looks something like this whenever there is suspicion of exocrine pancreatic insufficiency the first line sensitive test you will do is fecal elastase 1 and you will check for its concentration age related normograms are available is the fecal elastase 1 concentration abnormal if the answer is yes the exocrine insufficiency of pancreas is highly probable so in these patients you will assess the need for enzyme supplementation if the answer is no you will reanalyze the suspicion immediate answer is needed the answer is no you, you can do long term observation usually 6 to 12 monthly repeat fecal elastase 1 measurements can be performed if the child is sick or if the malabsorptive symptoms are really troublesome or you are suspecting a sinister severe progressive pancreatic disorder in these patients you will refer the patient to specialized GI center where invasive tests may need to be performed. So the answer to this question is fecal elastase 1. Please also remember that serum trypsinogen is also a sensitive test but it is not mentioned in the options. These days the focus is moving more towards fecal elastase 1 particularly in pediatric patients.